Okay, so now for the fun part, I'll show you how to make a really simple animation using CSS. So in this animation, what I want to do is start out with a black square and eventually change it into a green circle while rotating it 360 degrees. So first let's make that square and let's use the div tags to do it. And let's give it an ID of square so we can target it in our CSS up here. And then close off that div. And then up here, let's um, get the square by typing in the hash symbol because it was an ID and then type in the name for that div, which is square. Okay, so the square will have a height and width of 100 pixels and the background color will be black. So let's get started with making our animation. So to signal that you're having an animation in your web page, uh, you'll have to type in at keyframes, and then after this code word, at keyframes, you'll need the name of your animation. So let's just call it animate, and then open up curly braces. So here, I'll put in 100, uh, 0% and 100%, and I'll explain what that means in a second. Okay, so at 0%, we're saying that whatever goes inside these curly braces is what should happen when the animation is at 0%. So it's basically just starting and whatever is in here is how it looks when the animation starts. And at 100%, that means whatever is in these curly braces is what should happen when the animation is 100% complete. So at the beginning, at 0%, we want the square to have not rotated yet. So to say this, we do transform and then rotate zero degrees. So at 0%, we want the square to have not rotated at all yet. And the border radius will be zero. So each corner will be a sharp corner. It's not going to be rounded at all. And then at the end, we want it to rotate 360 degrees and the border radius will be 50%. So that's essentially turning it into a circle. So initially it has sharp corners and hasn't rotated yet, but at the end of the animation, it will have rotated a full 360 degrees and turned into a circle because the border, border radius is now 50%. And we also want to change the background color to black from black to uh, green. Let's just save it and see how it looks so far. And it's not going to do anything because we haven't actually added the animation in yet. So it kind of looks like that right now. So let's go ahead and add in the animation. And to do that is really easy. You just type in animation and then the name of the animation, which is animate and specify the duration. So let's go five seconds and let's save it and see how it looks. See, it's rotating and after five seconds, it has rotated 360 degrees and turned into a green uh, circle. So if you haven't noticed, once this square stopped animating, it went back to its original. But if you want it to stay that way, so if you want it to stay as a green circle, you'll have to put in the word forwards. So the animation is essentially going forwards and not going back. So you'll see that it rotates and turns into a circle, and voila, it stays as a green circle. So there's a ton of other things that you can do with animations, but I'm not going to go into depth right now, and I hope this video helped you and will help you in making your website look a lot better.